Hello, hello, everybody. Teresa Parker with Teresa Parker Art. Um, gosh, I have to show you what I did today, babe. I don't know if you saw the picture on my page, but um, I made a, let me see if I can get her in here, him in here, a Audrey 2. What this is, it's actually a styrofoam egg from Walmart. So I had used them to make decorations in a pot um, to like a potted plant, but eggs. And my husband saw it from across the room and he was like, you do realize that that's an Audrey. So I had to make an Audrey. So this is for my husband. I made Audrey 2 today. Um, and in case you don't know, Audrey 2 is from Little Shop of Horrors. It is the first um, live show that my husband actually took me to years and years and years ago so it has meaning for us but it was very fun to do a little difficult so let's go ahead and get started today we're going to do the hello summer this is going to be very easy i got grass all over i think it's only got like maybe five colors um so let's start with white and um I, you know i didn't do any outlines so we're gonna freehand this and see how it goes i'm, I'm not the best at that but let's try so on the picture, um, except for the letters, we'll use this and I'll show you how to use it with chalk um, on the black, which actually works out really well if I can find my chalk. So I think I have it. So let's see, we're about, it takes up about most of it. So I'd say the bottom of the cup is about right here in my, in my eye, my mind's eye. So let's go ahead and we're going to start doing this one. Just gonna get a little bit of white and let's just do a rough outline here and maybe like this and like this and we'll do it more like that um, and then of course it kind of goes up and then you've got your circle top kind of like that right <clears throat> little jar and then we'll kind of smooth that out and we'll have to smooth these out because since it really isn't filled I can make this a little thicker at the bottom but since it's really not a filled cup you're gonna be able to see the curves and everything of the jar but I think that we'll fix that with some black let me get some black out where's my black out? let's see and Sorry about that. Grab some black. Yeah, I was expecting no mistakes. Well, not a mistake. It's just a happy little accident. So we'll get a little bit of black here. Let me get a long. For some reason, this little squeeze jar does not like, it like dries out my paint. So I'm just going to paint some of this in. See there, it's just going to make it go away. Make it look like the top of the jar or the glass. We'll go this way. Oh, there's always ways to repair things or change things. Okay, and I think I'm going to do this a little bit more over here. And then I will take that and arch it out a little bit further. So, you're watching me do this on the fly. And I am definitely, I am not the best. Um, I don't draw the best. But I can I can trace a lot of things, but I don't draw real well, as you're seeing. Okay, so there's that in the top of the glass right here, and the bottom of the cup or the glass right here. It's kind of like an old mason jar. And okay, then what we'll do is I'm going to use some of the lighter yellow. So we have got so much going on. Uh, we had. Um, some flood damage from the ice storm and um, you know what happens we're blessed because we didn't lose you know we just had issues with our, our guest house and um, it's where one of our kids lives so it's been taken down to bare walls um, but so we've been trying to get that all taken care of um, so today we were working in there again with the contractors and of course I they got all the painting done and what happens oh yes there's paint involved and Teresa has to get near it and of course I 
messed up the door. I happened, I don't know how I tagged the door. Somehow I leaned against it anyway. It was terrible. So they have to repaint the door. But um, I think I've been banned from the house. And I'm just going to kind of go over this a little bit. You know, I'm going to add a little bit of white because we really need to cover that black. And um, let's see if we can get this to cover up. I think it'll cover it up pretty good. And then we'll go over it with another coat of yellow. Um, and let's see. I've been working on our, um, as you know, we're going to do a subscription with some different things. And it's going to be, I am so excited because it's going to be a monthly thing. It'll be different every month. It'll be, I would, and it's actually going to, um, one piece you'll be able to leave out and just change it. It is so fun. And I can't tell you what it is yet, but since COVID's over, we'll be able to, to I think it'll go really well, um, or that COVID's almost done. Okay, I think that's good there. So I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller brush. I'm going to let that dry pretty good. And I'm going to take a smaller brush here, and let's, let's draw out a lemon. Maybe like right here. And I think... Let's make it fatter. Nice round lemon. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with white. As you know, I can't think, I cannot talk and paint at the same time. So we'll get this in here. I think that looks pretty good. A nice fat lemon. And over here, we're going to do another one here. Kind of a smaller lemon. Oops. Make that a little more round. And then right about here, we're going to have a half a one. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. So now we can cover the black with the white. And when it's dry, that yellow will go right over it and make it pop. So, unfortunately, I think you're going to have to suffer through my hair dryer yet again so I can get this dry so we can finish it. We'll see. But I am just kind of touching this up, kind of spreading out the, the white. And it is kind of mixed with yellow, which is fine. Um, hopefully, it'll cover up pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's go get some white. And what I'll do in the meantime is let's work on some little shadows in the glass here. And come down like this maybe. And we're just doing some, like sun bouncing off the glass. You know, some little shadows and light. Um, well, let's see. Put a little bit of marks out here just because. Give it a little bit of personality. And maybe over here. A little bit right here on the bottom. And let's, let's go. Let's make this a little rounder here. So it's kind of open on the top. Put in a little white there. Let's see. Sorry, I don't oh, don't mean to be covering it. I know you can't see it while my hand's doing it, can ya? So if you're here, let me know. Let me do a comment because, um, oops, because if I don't, sometimes it won't it won't let chat work. It's kind of strange, you know. Technology. We just gotta live with it. Okay. So now let's go ahead and while this is drying. I'm going to go ahead and paint the straw in, and it starts about, it's pretty tall, but maybe about right here. Let's start it here, uh, maybe a little thinner. And we'll put it here, all the way to the lemon. And you know what we'll do is I'm just going to draw the line here. 
and then we will redraw over it the lip of the the lip of the jar. My straight lines can't talk. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I know, baby. What's the matter? Y'all are hearing my little. I think it's my little. Yeah. I've got a little uh, Pomeranian. He's just making some noise. He's trying to eat a cookie. And of course, all the other dogs want it. And he thinks they're going to steal it, but they won't. But he growls. I think it makes him feel like big dog. He weighs a whopping seven pounds. So, you know. Okay, so there we go. And I think I'll cover that a little bit with yellow. Also later, we'll bring the lemon juice up a little higher. Um, let's see. We also have a lemon on the side of the jar. So what we're going to do is, I don't know how to draw this so that you can see it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead. Let me just draw this little circle here. And that's my lemon, right? And I'm going to fill it in with white so that when I go over it with the yellow, it'll, the yellow will show. Let's make it a little bigger this way. So it's kind of on the edge of the cup. Uh, mason jar. Sorry, I think I've called it 10 different things. Um, I'm terrible that way. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to our subscription. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to launch it next month. And we will start that off with um, the base piece, which you'll get. And then every month, like I said, a different one. It's a full kit. So you can paint it yourself. You know, let's bring that into the. And um, it'll have all the paints, paint brushes. Hey, hey, hey. Everything that you need to paint it to complete it yourself. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll have actual written documentation on how to paint it and also a YouTube video and Facebook. So you'll be able to get a hold of me if you need my help in painting anything. And um, he's he's trying to protect his bones. Sorry. He's probably going to, hey, hey, quit growling. Anyway, so um, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I can't wait to launch that. And the closer we get, the more I can tell you and the more I can show you. I'm so excited. Um, okay, so we got the lemon on there. And let's see. I think the green for the leaves on the lemon should be able to show through on the black. We're going to try that in a minute and see what happens. In the meantime, let's see. These are kind of getting dry. Let's put a little yellow. I'm going to get a little darker yellow. Now let's put a little yellow on the lemons and see if this will work now. Make sure we get those yellow. Mm, it's kind of pulling away and pulling the black through. Let's see what happens if I just put it, touch it lighter. I'm sure I got a heavy hand, so it could be I just push a little too hard with my brush. Okay, so there's one lemon. Do this little hat lemon over here. He's a little smaller. Fill it in. So yeah, if, you, if you're ever painting on a black canvas or a darker canvas um, with a pretty iridescent color like yellow, uh, reds are really see-through color. Uh, some greens and a lot of the primaries are pretty pretty thin, but um, if you catch it bleeding through, all you do is paint over it in white first and then use the regular color and it should cover it just fine. And this has kind of got a little bit of black through, but I think it kind of adds a little bit of personality. So I'm going to leave it and then once it dries and we start adding the details, if we don't like it, we will go over it again and see if we can get more yellow out of it. But actually, I, I kind of like that. This is still pretty wet. Um, so I'm going to leave that alone for now, but let's go ahead and, um, wow, it's stark. Let's use, let's go ahead and do some pink on the straw and we'll get the, get the straw painted here. Just a little bit of paint and get the yellow off. Okay. I'm going to just get a little paint on my brush and let's just do little stripes like this. So this kind of matches the flamingo and, you know, I've kind of got a little series going on here. I didn't even realize it. 
with the yellows, the whites, the blacks, um, this really pretty fuchsia. And uh, get that on there. Oh, straight line, see I'm talking. So let me get the straight lines on here first. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I kind of realized we got a little, I have to show the other ones now. I did, of course, the Flamingo on Tuesday. And then I also test did a test run on the bike on the beach with the same kind of background as the Flamingo. And the bike originally was on black. And I just, I don't know, I didn't want it on black. So I put the beach in the background. I will show you that in a minute. It actually goes with this. And um, let me put one there. And also the flamingo. So it's kind of like I got a little set going on. Um, so I got that done. Let's get rid of the pink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this cup. We're going to let that dry. We're going to bring the front of the cup over the straw so it looks like the straw's inside the cup, the glass. And this looks it's a little damp. But let me put, I'm going to try to put a little more yellow on it because I really want the white to show up when I put the ice cubes in. Yeah, it's kind of dragging the black, but let's see what happens. Kind of, you know, it's lemonade, so it can be thin. And see the background through it is fine, as long as when we get this on here, you can see the white of the ice cubes. That's just what I want to be able to see. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Okay. Let's get it up over the straw. There we go. Okay. A little bit of the background's coming through. Yep, that looks okay. So now this one is pretty dry. So I'm going to get my little brush out. And we're going to paint it yellow. And then we will give it its white stripes. So with really thick paint, I'm trying to not bring too much of that black forward, the black background. Get that yellow to really pop on there. That looks good. Okay. Okay, got the yellow. Now we will let that dry. And then we're going to put the white on there to show the insides of the lemon. And on this one down here, I think we're probably ready. So we're going to give this a try. We're going to try the little white line here for the middle of the lemon. And let's do some thin lines like here. It's kind of hard. It goes actually from the middle, doesn't it? So maybe like this, maybe like, oops. Yeah, that didn't look good. Okay, got to redo this one. Got to redo that side a little bit. So it comes from the middle to the outside. And I started from the outside instead of the middle, which I shouldn't have. Okay. And that's all right. We're going to align this. Let's use a little yellow. Get those white lines on there. And that one just kind of blended in, which is good. Okay. So we've got that little lemon. And now while the rest of it's drying, because I have to do the ice cubes, but let's go ahead and put on some leaves. I'm going to try this really pretty green. This is spring green, which is fitting. And we're going to see if we can get this to show up on the black. And so what we're going to do is let's do our little footballs like here. Fill it in. And one here. Okay. 
And let's put some over here. And let's do, hmm. I know we're going to do some swirlies, but I think I want to do the flowers before we do the little swirlies. Or my little curly cues. Okay, now let's try, let's go ahead, I'm going to put in some of the white on the edges. So Hello Summer is going to go like, I printed it out. It's going to go like right. Oops. Ooh, yeah, I got that tight, didn't I? About right there. So that's okay. We got to let it definitely dry before we finish that. And so I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a, like a frame. So I do some little lines here. Kind of lighten it up a little bit. And that way it'll kind of make it a little bit, you know, you know what, that black is really over, overpowering on a painting. And we'll go ahead and do one up here. Put in some more lines here, maybe. Couple here in the corners. And let's do some dots. You know, me and my dots. I think maybe that's why I really like this painting that I found was that um, when Heidi painted it, she did it with dots and it just really tickled me. You know, that's just my thing. <laughs> if I can put dots on it and it's not winter, then I'm good. This is not exactly snow. <laughs> It's just dots. And I'm just using the back of my brush. Now, tonight, if it locks up again, I'm just going to keep it going. Because the other night, someone told me that even though it was not showing on my end, I was still alive. And um, so if it does lock up on me, I'm just going to let it go. So I'm going to put a few more in here just because I want to give a little bit of bright light, bright color. Okay, and then the Hello Summer is going to go up here. So, let's see, the lemon's not dry. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of the pink, and let's put in some flowers. Make sure I'm not going to ruin anything here. So I'm just going to put in some little five-petal flowers. And, oops, try not to touch the white that I just did. <laughs> That's all right, though. You know, I walked in the white paint next door, so I might as well just have white paint on me here, too. And we'll do one, maybe. Yeah, we'll do one here. I do like it in this spot. And just some five petal flowers, which is like a head, two arms, and two legs, right? It's like a gingerbread man when you're painting it. Head, two arms, two legs. And let's go over here, and I'm going to do a few over here. Arm, and an arm, and a leg, and a leg. Isn't that funny? And there's your five petal flower. And we'll do another one right here. Five petal flower. And I think I need one more. So let's do one more right here. Okay, and get that painted in. 
At least it went over that yellow pretty good. That pink did. Okay. So now what I'll do is let those dry just a little bit. And let's do some, I'm going to do some of the little curly cues. And I'm going to use my, um, my uh, liner brush <laughs> with the green. Mm. I kind of got caught there. I didn't move my finger. That's what happens when you don't follow your finger. Okay. I'm going to do one here. And let's see. Maybe here. And. Here and here. And let's do it like this. And maybe a little more. And maybe I like this. Yeah. Can't leave this one out here all alone. So there's my green little things, and I'm going to take some white on the back of the brush, just like I did all my dots, and we're just going to stick it in the middle of the flowers and brighten those up. And then, okay, let's take a little bit of white on the, on my little liner brush, and we're going to give the petals a little bit of white color so they'll stand out a little bit more. This would be really fun for like to do like a birthday party or something with a bunch of girls and guys and hang out and paint. This would be fun. Okay so let's give this one a little bit of white also because he's kind of sitting out here awful yellow. And we're going to give this one a little bit of white as well. Yeah, cover a little bit of that black. And we're going to go ahead and do this with the leaves. And we'll just go ahead and kind of highlight everything a little white because that is what's going to brighten this up. Yeah, that brightens it up quite a bit, doesn't it? Leaves. I think so. And okay, so now let's go ahead and take the white again and let's go over where the jar kind of goes over the straw. And, I mean, you can still kind of see through it a little bit because that's how they are in the glass. And then let's put a little bit, maybe a little bit here, a little bit more shadows. And now what we'll do is we're going to do the ice cubes. And you know what? I'm going to have to blow dry. Sorry, I know it's going to get loud, but I need to go ahead and blow dry the rest of this so that we can go ahead and get it to work right and not blend with my yellow. Sorry, Griff. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so as I always say, if you're going to uh, um, blow dry your painting, make sure and use it on a cooler setting because if you use a hot setting, it can actually crack the paint. And oh uh, yeah, I'm wearing my glasses. I gotta tell you, today I went in to put my contacts on and I caught like 10 times hot, hot, which is, yeah, I don't know how people can just go do that every single time. My eyes just 
video with the contacts today. So, can you get my glasses? Get this still dry. I think it's looking precious. I love this. Doesn't that look cute to me? I don't know if you can see the whole thing over here. Yes, that's looking good. And I really want it dry so we can do the lettering too. So we'll do the, uh, we'll paint, finish the lemon first. And that way while we're painting the ice cubes, maybe it'll dry enough to do the letters. Uh, but we do it with chalk since it's a black canvas. And what I do is we just rub chalk on the back of the piece of paper I printed out, lay it down on the black canvas and outline all the letters and it puts it down there in white. It works out great. Almost, we're almost there. Okay. So let's paint the, oops, let's paint the lemon first. Okay. And I'm going to use this one. And this time we're going to start with the center about right here. And let's do the little outlines first. And then let's see. I'm going to do this way. In this way. There we go. See, I'm doing my straight lines. Can't talk. Okay. And I think that's about right for the lemon there. Let's just outline it so that it stands out real good. Yeah. A little thick, but that'll work. I like it to stand out. Okay, so now in the glass itself, I want to make sure it's dry. It's not exactly real. Well, it's not really dry, but we're going to give it a shot. So we're going to draw one ice cube here. So we're going to make a square. And then we're going to make it 3D. And, oh, that looks okay. And then we're going to put one maybe here. And... a little wet on the yellow so we're kind of getting blobby but we're gonna see if we can make this work so we've got the ice cubes in here okay Sorry, I got an itchy nose. Somebody's coming to see me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the white and kind of curve this a little bit so that we can put the back in here. Back of the glass. Kind of the shadow through the lemonade. And let's do a little bit of the white up here. So it stands out. Oops, stands out real good. Little unpainting there with my finger. Put a little bit of some white streaks in. Okay. And it looks pretty good with the, the black shining through or showing through looks okay there. Get the back of the glass like that. Okay, kind of curves like that. And 
little more white just kind of in places. And down the side. So the glass is white. Yep. And let's see, that looks pretty okay. What do y'all think? Pretty good? Pretty good so far. And I really, I really do like it. I wasn't sure. You know, it's been a long time since I've painted stuff like this on black and made it pop. So I wasn't really sure how it was going to really turn out. I might kind of fill this in a little bit here so the green is coming out of the lemon. And a little more white here. Just some touch-ups. Because once that white kind of dries, it's funny because you, oh, it's a little green, which is good. It's, uh, you know, it kind of fades away and you don't really see it as much. So there's a little bit of green on the brush and I'm adding it to the flowers and it just kind of makes them um, look like more of the picture. Okay. So now we have it. Now for the words. Let me go ahead and I want to... I really need to make sure that's dry. So I'm going to blow dry the lemon real quick and then we'll put the words on with chalk. And then paint them in. I'm going to find my chalk. Check one more place for it. And I just brought it home. I just got some new chalk. And I'm gonna be able to find it here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I guess we can try to hand draw it. I thought I had put it in here with all of my glues and everything, but I guess not. I don't know what I did with it. And I bought it just for this. Isn't that how it is? I bought it just for this project. And I can't now I can't find it. I thought I had put it right here. Okay, so I can't find the chalk. It's in a little white box. Do you see it? <laughs> so, well, hmm, okay. Well, you know, I don't, I just don't want to do it without the chalk. I think it's really important for me to show y'all how to do that. So, I'm going to have to take the room apart and find the chalk. And then, actually, it's kind of funny because it doesn't look too bad like this. What do you think? It doesn't look bad like this at all. I kind of like it. There it is up close for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go tear up everything and find the chalk. 
and then I'll come live again and we will put hello summer right about there and it'll be in white. I think that'll look good. So let me see what I can find and I will be back. Um, also in the meantime, I want to show you, there is, can you see the bike? And the flamingo from the other night. So everything kind of goes together. So I got a little theme working here. So maybe we'll come up with another one as well. But for now, um, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to find the chalk. And then I'll come back live and I will show you how to use the chalk to get it onto a dark background and a lettering um, or any kind of outline, actually. So I really appreciate y'all being here. I really had fun. I wasn't real sure how it would turn out, but I really do like it. And I hope you like it too. And I will see you in a few minutes. I hope I can find my talk. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>